Hey fellow traders, hope you're having a good weekend. Okay, now you know the drill. Okay, we're going to look through the markets. Okay, we're going to look through all the currency pairs and uh, prepare you for the trading week ahead. Okay, now if you are new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, right? Check out our other videos because uh, we are trying to give you everything you need to know to become a profitable trader. Okay, so these are the kind of videos that we do every single week. Okay, we do this market outlook every single week to help you uh, look at the key levels that you should pay attention to. Okay, to tell you that, okay, uh, for Euro dollar, we're looking at this currency pair. Uh, this is what you're expecting. And th that will help you uh, trade the market, okay? So if you do not use our signals, okay, uh, it's fine, right? But you want to make sure that you take note of these key levels uh, that we have uh, prepared for you, okay? Then you can make your own decision of these key levels, okay? So we also have a signal channel group. Okay, the link is in the description. If you're not part of it, make sure you check that out. Okay, we send our trading ideas every single week. Okay, uh, that's, that's the short introduction about what we do. Okay, now let's get into uh, the crux of today's video. Okay, so you know the drill. Okay, we always start with the Forex calendar. Okay, so right now we are looking at the Forex calendar over here. So you can see that uh, today it's actually the 26th of July, uh, but we are preparing for the uh, week of uh, July 27th to uh, 31st. Uh, July. Okay, so this will be the last week of uh, July. Okay, so far we had a very very good uh, month so far. Okay, so let's hope uh, you know we end the month well. Okay, so looking at the data over here, we can see that uh, you know there's Aussie CPI uh, and there's this uh, FOMC statement which uh, personally I hate. Okay, so when there is FOMC statement, uh, this is the kind of weeks where the market won't move. Okay, it, it's going to be very constipated until after the um the event okay so just be cautious okay just be very patient okay uh chances are this week we will not be sending out a lot of trades until uh after uh the fomc event which happens on uh thursday at 2 a.m okay so you just want to uh, understand this okay the first step that we always do is we always look at the forex calendar to try to predict what kind of market we are in Okay, uh, we don't see a lot of other people teaching that. They just tell you to look at the Forex calendar, but they do not stress the importance of looking at the Forex calendar. Okay, but if you watch our other market outlook videos, you know that this is something that we do week in and week out. Okay, it's something that never changes. Okay, we always do it every single week. So that's something that you should pay attention to. Okay, but um, if you watch this video, then uh, we would have uh, prepared you for the week. We would have already uh, kind of like set your expectation about how the market will move for the next week. Okay, so if you know you're a bit lazy, you want to do your own analysis, that's fine. Okay, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you watch our videos every single week. Okay, you watch our market outlook videos every single week. Okay, if you do not watch other videos, it's fine, but make sure you watch this uh, market outlook video. Okay, okay, let's go into the charts. Okay, the charts. So, um, let me just uh, talk about uh, DXY, okay? So if you are new and you do not know what DXY is, DXY is actually the dollar currency index. So basically, it's a reflection of uh, how strong or how weak dollar is, okay? So you can see now that uh, dollar has been very, very weak. It's been selling down, okay? In fact, on Friday, okay, it had a very conclusive close. Uh, let me just move this. It had a very, very conclusive close below uh, this swing low, okay? 9460, okay, if you look at the uh, day candle, uh, it closed all the way at the bottom, right? The low is 94.33 and it closed at 94.35, okay? That means that uh, the, play, the institutional players or whoever is trading is not even taking profit going to the weekend, okay? Meaning that as the weekend comes, they are still very confident in holding that a dollar is going to be weak, okay? So this is a very strong sign that uh, a dollar it's, uh, has a lot of room to go down further. Okay, so the question is, uh, you know, if you're going to sell a dollar, okay, uh, where, you know, where, how, how low can dollar go? Okay, so if you do this uh, Fibonacci extension, okay, uh, I do have a video about how to use the Fibonacci extension tool. Okay, I will link uh, this video, uh, you know, up in the top right or some, something like that so that you can watch it after this. But basically, um, the level close below uh, 
price close below the uh, 1.272 level, okay? So you do have some room uh, down further, okay? But uh, we do not trade into DXY uh, directly, okay? We just want to know the direction of DXY. So in this case, we know that uh, dollar is likely to be weakening, okay? So that's our bias, okay? We want to be uh, selling dollar as much as possible, okay? That means that uh, for pairs like Euro dollar, uh, you want to be buying, dollar franc you want to be selling, uh, gold you want to be buying, and so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, this is the outlook for uh, DXY. Okay, let's move to uh, Euro dollar. Okay, Euro dollar, uh, it's very clear, it's, it's, it's an uptrend, right? You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, six candles of solid buying, okay? Uh, in fact, you have this uh, breakout and retest uh, set up over here, uh, pretty, um, pretty to the point, right? You, you broke out retest started rallying okay so this is a uh, this this trade uh is definitely something that uh sorry this currency pair is something that you definitely want to buy the question is uh you want to buy too high okay you want to buy at the right price okay so for now i do not see any market structure except for uh, probably this level here okay so uh, you want to be buying, but just be very patient to wait for trade setup okay you have the uh 1.272 level here okay so uh, you could just wait for some form of uh, retracement here, look for a trigger and uh, just buy it up, okay? Something like this, okay? But uh, please do not just go buy through the, uh, directly off the level, okay? Make sure you have a full-blown trading strategy, okay? If you need a full-blown trading strategy, uh, we have tons of videos teaching about strategies in this YouTube channel, okay? We also have a free day trading guide. So all these are all free, okay? Do not pay a single cent, right? Just download it, just watch it, okay? Uh, watch and apply, okay? That's, that's the purpose of this YouTube channel, to add value to you, to share with you knowledge which costs us thousands of dollars to learn, okay? We are making it free available for you, okay? So you want to take advantage of it, and uh, really just watch the video, okay? Do not come in with the mindset that just because, you know, this YouTube, this, this YouTube videos are free, then uh, you do not value it, okay? Because we know the price we paid for all this kind of knowledge, okay? But you don't, okay? That's why we keep telling you that uh, we paid a lot to learn this kind of stuff. So please uh, take it to heart. Please treat this seriously. Please take down the levels, okay? In this case, it will be a 1.16113, okay? Please take down the levels because just watching this video on its own without, you know, taking notes or without writing down these levels, it's not going to help you, okay? And uh, we don't want that for you. We want to really help you, okay? So please take some notes and uh, write down these levels, okay? So uh, Euro dollar long, uh, just look for a 1.16113, uh, okay? Look for uh, some uh, buying signs over here, then you can buy it up, okay? Okay, let's move to uh, dollar franc. Uh, dollar franc is also, uh, uh, it's very clear bearish, uh, but the problem is that uh, you are at a recent low over here. Okay. You are very close to the recent low. Um, so personally, uh, I'm not too keen about checking out this uh, currency pair because it's so low. Okay, And uh, you, if you're, you're selling here, you don't know whether this support will hold or not. Okay, So ideally, I would prefer price to close down below. Okay, Wait for it to retest. Uh, watch for some form of price action over here Okay, at the uh, broken uh, support turn resistance. Right? It should turn as resistance. Okay. Otherwise, if a price doesn't uh, doesn't get resisted here, then what might happen is that they might just be a big fake out of this a swing low, okay? Because uh, what happens is that a lot of people who bought, uh, they, they have their stop losses uh, below here, okay? So uh, if you watch the Forex mark, uh, master pattern strategy, then you know that a lot of them uh, put, a lot of uh, institutional players like to uh, stop, uh, drive price to, to hit your stop loss, right? They like to do what we call a stop hunt, okay? So they, they push price below obvious swing low and swing high levels, such as this case, swing high above here, where a lot of people put stop losses, all right, over here, and swing low, okay? So uh, dollar franc, they done it before. You can see over here, they, they, this is your stop, stop hunt zone. Uh, it's likely that they do a stop hunt zone here as well. So please be careful if you are going to, uh, you know, you're going to trade this pair, watch out for this level, 0 0.91766, okay? Uh, remember, again, we are in the uh, FOMC week, so it's very likely that uh, price will just park at this level prior to the news event, okay? Prior to the news event, and what happens is after the, uh, after the news event, then it makes a decision, okay? Uh, the market has this tendency nowadays to just park at a key level just before the event, and after the event, then you start moving, okay? So uh, ideally, just wait for after the event, then you start trading uh, this pair. Okay, because, because this is dollar franc, so you are trading directly into dollar, okay? Okay, let's talk about gold. Uh, gold, um, same thing, it's a very strong uptrend. 
Okay, very strong uptrend. Uh, in fact, I think you can draw a very you know steep trend line like this. Okay, uh, as of this time, uh, I think it's a bit hard to give you a level. Okay, it's a bit hard to give you a level, but uh, you do notice that uh, price has been in a kind of like a very staircase manner. You go up, you retrace, you go up, you retrace, go up, retrace, go up, retrace, go up, retrace. So um, I would think that uh, looking at about this level here, okay, this level here, uh, 1893 would be a good level to consider a buy because you have a ascending trend line up and uh, you have a uptrend and you have the pyro uh, swing high. Okay, now, if you cannot see that this is a pyro swing high, just switch to the line chart, okay, and uh, draw it like that, okay. In fact, if you draw it here as well previously, I believe that, uh, you know, you would have gotten the perfect entry if you had just buy, okay, uh, same thing. So uh, I think the same thing is going to happen. It's going to go up. It's going to retrace back to this uh, high, and then it's going to start rallying again. Okay. So uh, just just be cautious. Uh, look for a buy somewhere around one eight nine three point six two five level. Okay. Okay. Let's go to uh, dollar cat. Um, let's go to the day chart. Okay, so uh, dollar cat uh, is a bit uh, tricky. So what happened was that uh, last week, last week uh, we sent out some signals to short a uh, dollar cat because uh, this consolidation area has broken. Okay, but however, there is still this uh, swing low over here which is not taken care of yet. Okay, so price is uh, at obvious support right now. Okay, so the only question is whether uh, this support will be holding and you know price comes back to retest. Uh, or price uh, breaks down straight away. Okay, so uh, right now it's a bit early to say, okay, but uh, I just want to show you the key levels uh, to pay attention to. Okay, so uh, this will definitely be the uh, key level in, in terms of resistance because uh, this is kind of like a neckline. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, you kind of like have a left shoulder. Okay, then you have a head and you have the right shoulder. Okay, so this is a head and shoulder pattern and uh, this is kind of like the neckline. Okay, so we we will be watching these two levels very clearly, uh, 1.3506 and 1.3375, okay? If uh, price is going to do this, then uh, we probably look towards the, the, uh, towards the uh, left shoulder high, okay? And uh, if that's broken, then you probably uh, see, a, see a challenge of the recent high here, okay? And if this is broken as well, then I probably uh, conclude that uh, dollar cap has a uh, retrace, I said uh, has completely re reversed because that would mean uh, a completion of the uh, double bottom pattern, which is the uh, first bottom here and the second bottom, and this is the uh, neckline. Okay, so uh, this there's a lot of possibilities for this pair, but uh, definitely a pair that uh, we want to trade. Okay, in fact, uh, on Friday you also have this uh, cat uh, GDP, so this is going to move. Okay, so uh, the only question is whether will it move uh, up or move it move, will it move down. Okay, so uh, not to worry, uh, we'll send signals about this pair uh, if we see any opportunities, okay? Okay, dollar yen. Okay, dollar yen is very tricky uh, because uh, previously we were talking about this a uh, very strong level, okay? I think if you watch the past uh, two, two weeks or three weeks of uh, market analysis, we keep talking about this uh, level here, which is uh, 1.06841, okay? It, price has been struggling, 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 and finally it broke, okay? Now the problem is that uh, it broke this level, but there's another important level, okay, which is this one over here. Okay, this uh, spike low here, and uh, this can this uh, kind of like bottom here. Okay, so price did not close conclusively below this level, okay, below 106.08. Okay, so this is very, very important because you have not cleared your entire uh, support, okay? Uh, in fact, we have this uh, other YouTube video that we shared uh, this concept before. Okay, if you are trading in a consolidation and you want to trade a breakout, okay, let me show you. Okay, just do a quick recap here. Okay, uh, I believe that the video is called Consolidation Trading. So uh, check that out uh, if you have not watched. So in that video, I was saying, uh, let's say um, if you are, you know, you want to sell, you want to trade a breakout, uh, do not trade the breakout, uh, just start selling here when there's another support below, okay? What you want to do is you want price to break the entire support and then retrace back into the zone. Okay, and wait for price to break out of the uh, entire zone first before you trade. Okay, because if you do not, you just sell here, what happens is that price might do this. Okay, it might do this, it might trade within the zone, and then you know it's frustrating. Okay, so we always say uh, trade, wait for the entire zone to be broken. 
okay so right now uh, the entire zone is not broken yet this is the entire zone okay uh, yeah so this level is not broken so we want to see some form of a conclusive break below uh, 1.06.08 then we will consider a shorting okay if not then uh, we will look for uh, price to break out of this uh, upper level oh sorry uh, the lower level is 1.0608 okay it's this level here and the higher one is 106.84 okay if you want to buy we want to buy above uh, 1.0106.84 okay we want to sell we sell below this okay we never want to trade in the zone okay so uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, just check out the consolidation trading uh, video, okay? The, the full details are there, okay? I don't want to uh, make this video super long and go through that uh, over here, okay? So just take note of these levels. Okay, let's go into uh, Euro Yen, okay? Euro Yen, uh, let me just clear everything. Okay, Euro Yen uh, is resisted, okay? It's very obvious that uh, this is the swing high, okay? In fact, uh, price uh, did some form of... Uh, close above okay maybe price was looking at a higher level instead something like this okay or even this okay so uh right now price is resisted but please take note that uh the the trend is up okay you have this uh let me just draw it you have this low okay you have this low you have this high this higher low and you have this higher high okay so price is definitely in the uptrend okay now if you are doing a counter trend sell uh, you need to take note that there are a lot of uh, support uh, below okay so ideally i do not want to be selling at this level even though that i know that this is resistance okay i want to look for a form of uh, support okay i want to look for support could be this level here okay let me show it to you could be this level here okay uh, i want to wait for price to come down and then i want to look for opportunity to buy it up okay but uh, for now i think i want to just show you this level which is a uh, 122.675 okay you want to pay attention to this level because it's the recent uh, swing uh, uh, one of the recent swing high over here okay so you expect this to be a form of uh, support okay but the bias is definitely still in the uptrend just that uh, right now price is being resisted by a resistance okay Okay, let's go into uh, Dow Jones. Okay, Dow Jones, uh, let me just clear this. Okay, Dow Jones, uh, if you look left, if you look at this swing high here, okay, this is what is resisting price currently, okay? But the problem is that it's a very tight range. Uh, you do have a swing high point here as well. Okay, so uh, price is in a rather tight range and you also have this uh, candle low here, which uh, offers you some signs that this is support. So you do have a support zone over here. Okay, let me just highlight. And you do have your resistance zone above, okay? So this is very tricky to trade. Okay, uh, I would advise you not to trade it. Okay, uh, you also have this uh, ascending trend line, which I'll show you. Okay, so there are a ton of uh, you know, other currency pairs to trade or other indexes. I think if you trade this, it's going to be very tough because uh, you, this is support, yes, but there's resistance here as well. So um, you do not know whether you know this level is going to hold or this level or is it going to come down a bit lower before it goes back up, okay? So uh, I advise you to stay out of this because even if you sell, even if let's say this level is broken, uh, there are a lot of support uh, below. There's support such as uh, this level here, okay? This uh, swing low here. So there's a lot of support. So uh, if you enter, you do decide to trade this uh, Dow Jones, uh, you need to take your profit very fast. You need to enter exit enter exit because there's a lot of levels okay so each level you need locking your profits and that's something more advanced so it's not something that i recommend that uh, you trade especially if uh, you are new okay so uh, try to avoid this okay let's go into pound dollar okay pound dollar is a bit stronger okay pound dollar is i think it's looking very good okay uh in fact uh, on friday you have a very nice uh, bullish close <laughs> Okay, uh, in fact, it closed near the high. Okay, so uh, it's, it's very good. Okay, I like to see this. So a uh, doll, uh, pound dollar seems like uh, it has room uh, to go higher. Okay, so uh, just take note of this recent low, as in this recent high that is going to become a support 1.27469. Okay, um, if you draw the Fibonacci extension, then uh, price has also um, barely closed above. Okay, uh, barely closed above. Okay, uh, the high was uh, 1.2780 and price had closed at um, 
1.2790. So it's a significant close, okay? So probably the next level that you're looking at uh, is would be this uh, level, which is the 1.618 level, okay? 1.618 uh, Fibonacci extension, uh, which will be the 1.2923. And of course, after that, you have the uh, round digit 1.30, which is the obvious uh, final target for this trade because uh, 1.30 is a psychological number, okay? So you want to make sure if you buy, you get out before 1.30, okay? So uh, this just a, uh, this is one of the pairs that I recommend that you trade for next week. Okay, look, it's looking very good. Okay, so uh, I will look for this uh, pair to trade uh, and send any signals if I see any. Okay, so these are the levels. Okay, let's go into pound yen. Okay, pound yen, um, same problem as the, uh, you know, the euro yen that I covered just now and the dollar yen. Okay, uh, you, you see some form of bearishness coming in, but there is a support here. Okay, and then you have this uh, candle low as well, this uh, spike low here. So you have all this uh, candle high, candle high. So right now price is uh, being supported. Okay, the candle is very, it's slightly bearish, but um, it's selling into support. Okay, uh, in fact, if you do the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool, take the low to the high, okay, uh, you realize that a uh, price tapped the 0 0.618 level, okay. So um, for me, I want to look at some form of uh, strength on this level. I want to see that there are some form of uh, institutional buying at this level before I do decide to uh, take a long uh, position towards uh, this level, okay? So, um, yep, that's for uh, pound yen, uh, bullish bias, but um, ideally I want to get in at a good price. Okay, you have this uh, trend line as well. So this is a strong level, but uh, with, you know, the candle, being looking like that, uh, I don't feel confident enough. Okay, in fact, uh, I want price to uh, retrace back down a bit first. Okay, I want to see some form of strength here before I decide to buy that. Okay, so that's that's the level for pound yen. But uh, I think basically pound pairs, uh, you want to be focusing on pound pairs. Okay, because pound dollar seems easy to trade. Uh, pound yen has a strong level. So uh, look, focusing on pound for next week will be a good decision. Okay, now let's go into uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, Aussie dollar, uh, sorry, let me just come back here. Uh, okay, Aussie dollar, same thing. Um, price is kind of like in the middle of nowhere currently. Okay, you have this trend line here. Okay, and then you have the resistance turn support here. Okay, so right now price is not offering much levels. Uh, I mean, you can have this level as well. But uh, personally, I do not really like this level because I don't know if this level is true. But it's a bit further back in time, okay? Uh, on Friday, it seems to be uh, resisted, uh, sorry, sorry, supported. But uh, ideally, I want to see price test the recent high, okay? Because uh, in trading, you, you want to apply the recency effect, which is uh, whatever is, has just happened has more uh, weight compared to whatever happened in the past. Because this has been in uh, you know, almost a year back, so I do not know if this level is uh, you know, valid. But I do know that uh, this level here is definitely valid, uh, this swing high here, okay? So you want to watch this zone for a buying signs and then you buy it up, okay? Okay, let's end off with a Kiwi dollar. Now, Kiwi dollar is the same exact thing as uh, Aussie dollar. In fact, uh, most of the time they move quite similarly. So uh, the analysis is, is kind of like the same. So uh, in fact, the, for Q, uh, Kiwi dollar, what happens is that, um, sorry, let me just... What happened is that a price uh, is resisted by the 1.272 level. You can see resisted very nicely, price didn't close above. So uh, what I would see is that uh, I expect price to retrace back to this high over here. Okay, let me show you. So this high here. Okay, this high which is uh, 0 0.6575. I expect it to retrace here. And then I'll look for a long here. Okay, this is a very textbook setup. Okay, very textbook. So just, just be patient about it. Okay, and uh, in fact, when price broke out, there was a uh, breakout trading strategy that uh, we thought in uh, our one of our forex videos, right? There's the build up here. You have the engulfing patterns leading up, and then you have a uh, the uh, what is that? The trend line squeeze going upwards. Okay, so uh, this was a good setup. Uh, that we do have a video on this strategy as well. So uh, if you have not checked that out, please watch the video. Okay, I think believe that that video is called the best trading strategy in 2020. So uh, watch that video. Uh, that video will show you why uh, that why that, that was a good trade. Okay, but anyway, for this week, 
okay, uh, we do expect price to come back down here and then we look for long to buy back up, okay? So that's it for this market outlook video. If you have any other questions, just leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to address it, okay? If you have not downloaded our day trading guide, make sure you do, okay? It'll give you a trading strategy uh, for you to get started or so, okay? If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give us a thumbs up, right? Help us support this channel, help us to grow so that uh, we can teach more traders, right? We can save more traders from blowing their account, okay? So if you have any other currency pairs, just leave a comment down below. Uh, we will try to do a video like this just to show you the levels that we are looking at, okay? Uh, this video has been probably quite long, so I do not want to go through every single currency pair, but if you have a specific currency pair that you want us to analyze, just let us know in the comment section below, okay? If not, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good weekend. We will see you in the Telegram channel with the signals, so make sure you trade safe, manage your risk because uh, there's FOMC next week. So we want to make sure that uh, you do not really like, you know, blow your account. So make sure you just take care of your risk and uh, we'll send you trades uh, to help you grow your account, okay? So if not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.